Now let me share another way of placing spot elevations. This time using the curve and point containers from Revit primitives. These components are great for quickly referencing Revit curves and points directly into Grasshopper. First, navigate to the Params tab in Grasshopper, then go to the Revit section. Here, you will find the curve and point containers. These components are designed to store Revit curves and points, allowing us to reference them directly within our Grasshopper definition. Now let's see how we can use them. Simply right click on the curve container and you will have the option to set one or multiple curves from Revit. Let's choose set multiple curves and select the top and bottom curves of our element. Do the same for the point container to set one or multiple points. Once these are referenced, you can use them as inputs for the add spot elevation component. Just note that the point container always stores the endpoints of curves, not arbitrary points along the curve. So if you snap near the left end, it will store that point, and if you snap near the right end, it will store the other endpoint. With the curve container connected to the reference input and the point container connected to the point input of the add spot elevation component, we can now visualize the spot elevations in our Revit model. This provides a quick way to place spot elevations without needing to extract geometry from elements. Here is a quick tip for you. If you want to place spot elevations at specific points along the curve that are not endpoints, you can use the evaluate curve component. This allows you to specify a point anywhere along the curve by adjusting the parameter. And that concludes our workflow. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more lessons.